This happens when you ignore the narcissist. When you refuse to take notice of them. When you disregard them intentionally. The narcissist will immediately notice that you are behaving differently. They will notice that you are ignoring them. But rather than reflecting on their own behavior and questioning if they did something wrong, they will focus on your behavior. They will blame you for ignoring them. They will see it as though the no contact was unauthorized because they expect everything to be done under their terms. If they don't agree to something, then it should not take place. Regardless of what they might have done, which then caused you to ignore them, When you ignore the narcissist, they notice that you are behaving differently and they worry that other people are going to notice your change in behavior. They worry that other people might recognize that your behavior has changed due to the abuse. So they will enforce flying monkeys and start a smear campaign against you. They will tell everyone that you did something wrong. You are being selfish. And now you've just abandoned them. It keeps people focusing on your behavior and your reaction to their abuse. rather than what the narcissist did to you, which then caused you to ignore them. If you ignore the narcissist, they will start a smear campaign against you. They will run to anyone who will listen to negative things about you. And they will say that you're bad or not good enough. You're a liar or a cheater. You're crazy. They will reverse the situation onto you. You go from being what they saw as a weak, helpless victim to being someone who is a serious threat to them. Simply because they can now use it to gain sympathy from other people. They can use it to get attention and even to gain new sources of supply. They get supply by gossiping about you, by telling secret information, talking about your private life, spreading rumors, magnifying details that are irrelevant or unimportant. When you ignore the narcissist, they will get a new source of supply. They will get someone else to replace you. But although it may look like they met them after you left, it's more likely that they were already communicating with them before you left. In some cases, the new source is someone they knew before they even met you. It is likely that the narcissist has been telling the new source how horrible you are for some time. 
but it will really amplify in the smear campaign. The narcissist will give them a story or explanation to make them feel sympathy, which then makes a new source want to fix the situation. It makes them want to help the narcissist. Which is what the narcissist wants. They may also want you to know about the new source. They may upload pictures of them on social media. It's designed to get a reaction out of you and make you stop ignoring them, which is then further supply for them. But if you continue ignoring them, they will then hoover you. You will receive lots of calls and texts. The best thing to do is to decline their calls and block them. They're only going to play on your emotions and try to get a reaction out of you. As you continue ignoring the narcissist, the flying monkeys may then attack you. They will act on behalf of the narcissist for an abusive purpose. Sometimes the flying monkeys don't even know what they're doing. They're just being manipulated and used by the narcissist. But other times they do know what they're doing. Either way, they're just trying to get you to contact the narcissist. The narcissist may even contact your friends and family in an attempt to get you to contact them. They will always find a way to pop up in your life. Whether it's a call or a text or you see them in person. It's always a hoover attempt. It's always an attempt to initiate some form of contact. They will stalk and harass you. They will watch what you're doing online. They might wait outside your home or workplace. Because in their minds, you belong to them. They see you as their possession. Even if you discard them, or they discard you, they want to see what you're doing, where you're going, who you're talking to. Because in their minds, they own you. And they have a right to know what's going on in your life. It's entertainment for them. In their otherwise dull and boring lives. In some cases, the narcissist may even apologize to you. They may tell you that if you come back, things are going to change. They're not going to abuse you anymore. They will bring back the love bombing phase. They will give you false promises, fake apologies, fake epiphanies, but it's never real. It's just designed to get you to come back. As soon as they know they've got you again, their behavior will go back to normal and they will flip the script on you again. They will act like you are supposed to change something and that's the only reason why they let you back in. Rather than you leaving, 
because they abused you. They will turn the tables on you and have you questioning your own motives, questioning your own memory, perception and sanity. They will never give you a genuine apology. They can make it seem genuine, but as soon as you go back to them, they will pull the rug out from under you. When everything else fails, the narcissist will rant and rave about everything they think is wrong with you. They will project their traits onto you and tell you how you were never good enough for them and how they don't even want you back anyway. They will call you all sorts of names. They will say whatever they think will hurt you the most. But if you were so bad, why wouldn't they just leave you alone? They just can't deal with rejection. They can't deal with you ignoring them. Because it makes them feel like they're not good enough. Which is what they then project onto you by trying to make you feel like you're worthless or not good enough for them. They have to tell themselves that they don't want you because they know that you don't want them. Eventually, the narcissist will ignore you back. They have very short attention spans anyway. They can't focus on anything for a long period of time. Eventually, they will just forget about you and try to move forward with someone else. Once they've found another source of supply, you have no use to them. Especially if you've caused a narcissistic injury. If you've caused an injury to them, they're not going to want to see you anymore. They're not going to be able to look at you. They can't take it. Because you bruised their ego by rejecting them. When you cause an injury, they will often just ignore you and they won't come back again. They won't even bother to hoover you because you're just a constant reminder to them how they were never enough. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.